Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. First and foremost, spoiler alert, if you have not watched Plastic Memories or are interested in watching it or just don't know about it or just don't want to hear about the ending, I'll actually encourage you not to watch this particular message. Uh, this is not the gospel that you need to hear. Watch one of my other videos or watch someone else's video, but if you don't like spoilers, if you're interested in the show, I'd even say if you're not overly interested in the show, because it's so spoilery, like, watch at your own risk. I, I really, really don't like spoilers. And I have, unfortunately, spoiled stuff for my friends in the past. And they've spoiled stuff for me. And it's a horrible feeling both ways. So, first and foremost, exit out of this video if you don't want spoilers, because I'm going to be covering the ending of that anime. Like I said in my other video today, where I was just basically talking about Plastic Memories, which I spent a pretty good chunk of this day watching several hours Thoroughly enjoyed it. This was not a wasted Saturday, in my opinion. It, it made me think about a lot of stuff. You see, and here's the spoiler at the very end, how Isla, her time is up, and she has to be retrieved. And it's her boyfriend, Tsukasa, who does the retrieving. He's the one who puts the ring on her and delivers the, the shell the body to be um, to be have another OS installed on it and so that essentially no one uses the term death in the show which I kinda I'm surprised that they never I mean it's obvious that that is the comparison to like what humans go through while it's obvious I'm really surprised that since the show loved to make make sure that people weren't able to talk about stuff and nothing was really hidden the way the way they didn't just outright say, this is like death. This is essentially death. But that's never talked about. It does talk, they, they briefly touch on, Tsukasa talks about, you know, well, what if I knew my days were predetermined? How would things go? What would I do if I knew the number of my days? Well, we humans don't know the number of our days. But one thing we all know, whether you're a Christian or not, we're all going to die. Unless you believe that there are Enoch's and Elijah's out there, which I do. The Bible, uh, Bible has that in there. So I believe that there are some people, at least two on record, who did not see death because God said, Nope! Unless you believe that, we're all going to die. That's definite. And there is one who knows our days, and that is God. Uh, the word, not predetermined, but determined is mentioned, and it's in Job chapter 14, verse 5. Since his, that is man's, days are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have appointed his limits so that he cannot pass. And plain, and, plain and simple, black and white. And you know, with death, it is, it is black and white. And the pain of losing someone you love is, since I've lost my mom, I know what it means to lose someone you love. And haven't lost, you know, a lover or uh, something like that. But losing a parent is still pretty painful. It's pretty heart wrenching, especially when you're the one who finds the body and it was unexpected. It, it, it sucks. It sucks royally. I've never cried that hard in my life. I don't want to imagine what losing a spouse would be like. Um, I imagine if anything, it's at least as bad, if not worse. And so, one of the things I love about I love about particular shows is the way they make you think about life and they make you think about things. They had one month together, just one, one month where they were actually they knew each other's feelings, they accepted each other's feelings, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. One month. And he knew it in advance. She knew it well in advance. And they went for it. They, they, there were several episodes where they argued, you know, should we do this? Is it worth it? They determined it was. And it's just like, life is so brief. It's so short. It's just gone. And that brings up a verse in James. I didn't pre-look this up, so Google is your friend. But our life is a vapor. Our life is a vapor. It, it's it's that quick, y'all. So it's it's another it's a chance to reflect. It's a chance to think. Um, I I even remember a few days ago it was a little bit scary. Just you know how you wake up uh, in the middle of the night 
or sometimes you'll wake up in the morning and, you know, just the most random stuff will be going through your head. Just because I don't know what the mind exactly does when you're asleep or what the, what the brain does as you are asleep. But I just woke up and I remember there was just this, this terrible dread of knowing that I could die and that I was going to die. And that hit me. It's happened a few times in the past. I have no idea what in the world. I don't remember watching anything particularly horrendous the other day. I've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat X recently. Maybe that counts for the whole death thing. But yeah, just waking up in the middle of the night and I could, I'm could i going to die. It's going to happen. It could happen right now. And theoretically, it could happen in the middle of this video. You know, an aneurysm, a stroke, a heart attack. Something just completely unknown, unexplainable to human science and uh, medical practices at the moment. It could happen. It's not impossible. I don't think it will. I don't plan on it, but I don't know. That, I, that's part of the scary part about death. And I, I want to address just briefly, you know, as a Christian, shouldn't I just be ready for death and ready to go at any time? I am? It's not that obviously I know that it's going to happen. I know that my days here are, to, there, the, the, not, there is a number written, God knows that I don't. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if I did know, kind of like the gift he is in Plastic Memories, but I know that the time is going to be up one day, and I know where I'm going when I die. I'm going to be with Jesus forever in heaven. Doesn't mean the prospect's not still a bit scary to me, and that's just me being human. That's just the honest truth, and I think being afraid of death... I think that's okay and acceptable. There are times when I feel completely fearless. There are times like when in the middle of the night I wake up, the thought hits me, and it's just like, that's scary. It's something we all, we're all going to face. It's something we all have to prepare for. And I love the way the anime very poignantly brought that up. It made me think about it and even gave me a Bible message for today. You got a Bible message from anime today, y'all. How cool is that? As a weeaboo, I think it's awesome. So that is about that's it for today. On the, just to wrap it up, because I'm a Christian, I know where I'm going when I die. Do you know where you're going when you die? Do you have any inkling, any idea? Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.